Okay, this is Dr. Krauss, and I am I want to create a quick video on how to install and configure Spider for uh, Mac. Um, somebody made a comment in Lab, and I think it's valid, that asking you to switch from some other pr programming language to Python, learn Python, and also learn to use a console window that's not as user friendly as an IDE is kind of a lot for a first step. Um, by the end of the semester, I may need you to be using the IPython console, but I think as a first step, Spider is a really acceptable IDE that maybe has some nice features as you're trying to just kind of learn the language for the first time. Um, if you are using Windows, you've used Anaconda, and Spider's already included, and I already have a YouTube video on how to configure Spider. To my mind, there was another student um, advocating a different IDE. And I don't really care which one you use, uh, but to my mind I need two features that I would consider to be absolutely essential. One is when I first pull up the IDE I need to have an IPython window where it already has imported the SciPy, NumPy, Matplotlib kind of stuff and so I can just type things like plot and sign and pi and it already has those loaded into the uh, terminal. And then when I plot a function, it, it can't block. It can't make me close all my plot windows. And those plot windows have to automatically refresh. And so Spider does those things perfectly. Um, there were some workarounds to try to make the other one do it, but you got to remember to inside the show always have block equals false. And I don't know. I don't think that's really taking advantage of the special graphics thread. So there are some reasons. So anyways, I am pretty happy with Spider. Um, as an IDE for helping you get started. So I'm going to Google Spider Python and notice that Spider because it's Python is with a Y and that should take you to pythonhosted.org slash spider and there's a link here for install on Mac and um, that will come up with a link to a so up here at the top um, go to the DMG installer which can be found here so you click on that and then we're using, um, in this class, if you installed Python through Homebrew, we're using Python 2.7. And so we want the Python 2.7.dmg file for Spider. And if you download that, save that to your downloads. I've already done that. And then if you double click on it out of your downloads, it'll come up in the usual way. And if you take that dot app and drag it to, I think probably here, but definitely over to your applications folder, it would install. I've already done that, so I'm trying not to do it again. Um, but if you have it correctly installed, then when you um, go to your applications, you ought to see that. Now, the, the main thing that I don't like about IDEs is just that they're really big and they take a long time to load. So I have a, I don't know, two-year-old-ish MacBook Air, but it has an SSD hard drive, so it loads pretty quickly, but still, there's a few seconds there where it's happening. Um, and then once it loads up, to make it do the two things that I consider essential, go to Preferences, and I've already done it, but I think I can help you find which ones. Um, so under the IPython console, a couple of things. There's a startup option. No. There we go, graphics setting. So click on this little box. By default, I don't think it's clicked. Automatically load the PyLab and NumPy modules. And then back end. Um, in Windows, the automatic back end was okay. The Mac OS X back end might be fine. I like TK Inter is like the oldest, clunkiest back end, but it's the one where the plots always refresh without any problems. So if you notice that you're making changes to your plots and you rerun your code and you're just not seeing the changes, then switch to the TK INTER um, back end. So do those two things, and now when I first come up, I can create a time and it knows what the a range command is and it knows what sign is and I can plot something and it does my plot and then I gotta flip over to this other spider guy and there's my plot and then I can come back over here and I can say x label is time in seconds and it updates my plot and everything is happy and then if I have some code over here I can run this code by clicking on the little green arrow and that will have changed to this plot. And again, I could come over here and I could add an X label of, I don't even know what my X label is, 
but I just want to show that now if I rerun the code my plot automatically gets updated and you can see my little label got added so that was preferences IPython console graphics automatically load the numpy and pylab and numpy modules and then change the back end and you'll have what I think is a pretty good um, experience using spider I'll make another video shortly on just some of the basic spider features and why I think it's a pretty decent text editor as well